Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Melanie here, ready to share another episode of Tiny Desk Bedtime Stories. And you can see I've got this next one ready to go. We have been doing, and we will be continuing to do, a series of fractured, sometimes people call them twisted, or untold, or maybe sometimes people call them origin stories. But these are all regular fairy tales that you're probably used to, titles that you're probably used to, but they're shifted or twisted just a little bit to make them different than what you're probably used to. So tonight I'm gonna to be reading to you the graphic novel version of Little Red Riding Hood. I can't wait. The graphic novel, Red Riding Hood, retold by Martin Powell and illustrated by Victor Rivas. Boys and girls, I'm going to encourage you, don't forget that when you go to Mayan, one of the advantages to looking at, especially a graphic novel on Mayan or someplace like that, is that you can zoom in on the pictures. And in this book, some of them are very dark, and so it's hard to see here on this video. But when you go on and you look at the book on Mayan, you can look at the pictures much more clearly. Remember, you've got that little option to zoom in a little bit more. So here we go, cast of characters, grandma, father, mother, Ruby, and of course, the wolf. Transylvania, the land of phantoms and the birthplace of almost every scary story ever told. Once upon a time, it's been a while since you visited my tent. You're Magda. You read my fortune when I was a little girl. So, did I tell you the truth? Yes, I've had a happy life. I even have a beautiful little granddaughter, just like you said. Come, dear, my crystal can tell you much more. Mercy on you. What's wrong, Magda? What did you see? Evil creatures prowl the woods. They cannot enter our homes unless they are invited inside. Take this red cloth. Whatever you make with it will protect you, but only during daylight hours. I'm afraid. I don't have any money. It's a gift. It will protect the dearest things to you and your life. The thing dearest to me. Several weeks later, look how pretty. A red riding hood and a cape. And my favorite color, too. It's lovely, Ruby, dear. Must have taken Grandma a long time to make. She loves you more than anything. I'm so sorry she's sick. It's just a cold. A visit from you will help her feel a lot better. You'll see. In her letter, Grandma said, that this riding hood would protect you. She wants you to wear it every time you go outside. Remember, stay on the road and don't talk to any people you don't know. This is so much fun. I get to walk to grandma's house all by myself. This is my best Best birthday ever. <sighs> what was that noise? Maybe it was just the wind. Besides, I'm not scared. My riding hood and cape will keep me safe. Grandma said so. <gasps> Good afternoon. Are you all alone? You can talk. 
I never saw a wolf that could speak like a man. I dare say there are plenty of things in this world that you still haven't seen, little girl. Where did you get that riding hood? It's a birthday present from my grandma. I'm on my way to spend the night at her house. How thoughtful of her. And in my favorite color, I see. It's a pleasure to meet you, Red Riding Hood. Oh, we haven't been introduced. So how do you do, Mr. Wolf? My name is Ruby. Do you mind if I keep you company? Well, I'm not supposed to talk to strange people, but you're not exactly a person, are you? No, indeed. You look like a princess to me, Ruby. I bet your grandma owns a grand palace. I'm not a princess, silly. Grandma lives in the little cottage at the end of the road. Ah, uh, yes, I know the place you mean. Grandma hasn't been feeling well, so I'm bringing her some cake and cookies. I wish I could do something nice for your grandma too. I have the perfect idea. You do? A four-leaf clover will make her healthy again. <gasps> You're right! Everybody knows that four-leaf clovers are good luck. I bet there's a million of them in here. Then you better start looking right away. I'll let your grandma know that you might be a little late. See you soon. Red Riding Hood. Moments later, at Grandma's house. Come on in, child. Just lift the latch. You're a little late, Ruby, dear. Did you get lost? Ruby! <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the four-leaf clover field. Finally, I found one, a four-leaf clover. I didn't think it would take me so long. It'll be dark soon. I better hurry so Grandma doesn't worry. Phew, barely made it. Another moment and I might have been lost in the dark. Grandma, it's me, Ruby. Sorry I'm so late. Are you asleep? Grandma? Why, there you are. I thought maybe you had forgotten your poor grandma. I'd never do that, Grandma. See, here's a whole basket full of goodies and wildflowers for you. How sweet, my dear. Grandma's not wearing her spectacles. Bring the basket closer so I can see everything better. That's not all. A lucky four-leaf clover just for you. Now, you'll get better for sure. Oh, how lovely. Grandma's so weak. Come closer, dear. You sound kind of funny, Grandma. My throat is scratchy, child. That's all. Come closer. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. And what big teeth you have. Yes. The better to eat you with, my dear. Dog. I think not. Grandma. Where are you? She can't help you now. She was a bit tough, not as tender and juicy as you will be. Stay back. 
foolish girl. Don't you know anything? Your red riding hood can't protect you at night. Don't you know anything, Mr. Wolf? Little girls aren't as foolish as you think. Huh? We are all the souls. Of all the people the wolf ate, we are now free. Thank you, Ruby. After that day, Red Riding Hood continued to visit her grandma's cottage often, planting flowers, bringing cookies, and reading her books by the fireplace. It was her favorite place to be because her grandma loved the brave girl so much. In fact, more than anything. And as you know, these books have information in the end about the author and the illustrator of this version. There's also a glossary in case there's some words that you didn't know some history of Red Riding Hood, and the super fun part at the end where there are discussion questions and writing prompts, as well as some internet sites and a reminder to check it all out. I enjoyed reading you that version of Red Riding Hood. I hope I didn't scare you too much with my voices. And I do hope you have very sweet dreams and a very good night.